Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, here with another update video of our cold tolerant Antonio mango tree, the tree that apparently Tim Thompson has bred over the last uh, many years to be the most cold tolerant of all mango trees. And if you want to see me planting the mango tree, when I initially planted them in like a one or two gallon sleeve, uh, in our first two update videos, you can click on the screen right here, 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 and click on the former videos. You can also access the other videos in the description below this video and in the comments down below. And please subscribe to my Vegan Athlete YouTube channel here and hit the like button. And it is December the 6th. And now we've had a week in Phoenix. We're here at my house, according to my thermometer right there on my arbor. In this little corner of my yard, it got down to 27 degrees Fahrenheit two nights in a row. So it was around low 30s, it got 30, then it got 27 for two days in a row. And so when it gets down below, basically when it's below uh, 40 degrees, I keep this uh, plastic little temporary greenhouse on them and I put a sheet on top at night in case the frost comes in, especially on a young tree like this. And so let me show you guys how it looks after that week in the low temperatures. He was looking perfect and now he definitely has been showing signs of dead leaves from frost. So you can look on the top here, about three days ago I came out and took the sheet off of him in the morning time like I usually do, because the sheet stays off during the day and on at night. And there was a white, like a milky sap on top of this guy here. And now these leaves are, I think, just superficially hanging on. They're pretty much dead. And you can see how they're kind of like shriveled up and moldy there. And it's kind of sticky here on top, some sort of sticky sap. Now halfway down the tree, he looks pretty good still. So the leaves down there look pretty nice. And so it seems as though the bottom half of the tree has survived, the top half has taken a huge hit from the frost. So this could be because, in my opinion, the Antonio mango tree is small still, and he's just in his first year of being in the ground. You know, We'll have to show you guys update videos next winter when he's been in the ground for over a year and see how the more mature Antonio mango tree takes the cold. I'm pretty sure he's gonna survive, and in my opinion, come March, he should you know, double or triple in size and become a big, thriving tree in this little area. So I'll keep you guys updated. This is how he looks after the freeze. The green leaves have turned brown and showed some frost damage, you guys can see, and let's see how he makes it the rest of the winter because next week in Phoenix, it's supposed to be 32, 31 as the low, and when it says that, it's always about five or six degrees colder in this little corner of my yard right here. Okay, so what you just saw was a few months ago on that previous update, and I'm combining two updates into one video here. So here's what the Antonio cold tolerant mango looks like today. I just took the plastic, which kept the tree warm over the winter, I took it off yesterday, which is January the 15th, because now we're uh, having lows that are in the 40s. And I think, in my opinion, let's see if I'm right or wrong, from the rest of the winter, I don't think we'll be breaking into the 30s very often from here on out. And this Antonio mango tree is supposed to take temperatures down about 25, 26 degrees. And now that it's the middle of January, I finally took the sheet off and the plastic off, and the tree looks like this now. And so, what do you guys think? I feel bad because I gave this guy the perfect soil, I gave this guy the perfect mulch, I gave this guy the perfect watering schedule, I gave this guy a great climate, and he still couldn't take it. <laughs> he looks dead. Now, I don't think he's dead. I think he's still alive. I think that if I scratch, a little trick for you guys is if you scratch the trunk of the tree like this, and you guys can see how it's still kind of wet and moist in there, or if it's green, it's still alive. But, I mean, it'll take a lot to get this guy nursed back to health for the, for the summertime. So, you guys tell me in the comments below, do you think that I should pull him out because I have a nice low quat I want to put right here or should I keep him going and let him see if he'll butt out again in a couple months see if he'll grow again I don't know so what I found was my experience was that this mango tree did not take it through the Phoenix winter and the coldest that I got in this corner was I got to 27 degrees for two nights my thermometer is right there on that pergola, that white thermometer, and that thermometer read about 26 to 27 degrees two of the nights this winter. And they weren't successive, they were two different nights in the winter. But for the most part, it was about uh, 30 degrees here 
at the lowest in the winter here. And you guys saw the plastic around them. I put the sheet on top. Most of the mornings I would get up and the sheet would be frozen and the mango was fine. But he still couldn't take it, even with all that help. So I did not have very good results so far with this Antonio mango tree. Let me right now go show you guys a carry mango tree that is about 30 to 40 paces that way in my yard. And I'll show you guys how the carry mango tree is doing. So we're about 50 paces away and here's the carry mango tree. It's a little bit larger and he also has some leaf burn, but he only has leaf burn on the edges. If I go into the body of the tree, all this growth looks fantastic still. And this carry was planted about a couple of months, maybe two months before the Antonia was planted and um, he doubled in size and is doing pretty okay. So this to me looks like a first year tree that took a hit from the winter, but it's still alive doing fine. The Antonio looks like it's, uh, it's dead, to be honest. So I feel bad that I couldn't keep it going. Maybe it's me and not the tree, but I encourage you guys to experiment. Try different trees, see what works. I'm having a lot of success with the coconut cream mango, with the Kiat mango, with the Kerry mango, um, and then a lot of success with the avocados. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Hit the like button. And I will let you guys know if I decide to plant something new in place of that Antonio mango, or if I decide to keep it going and see if it can bud out for the spring or the summertime. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned to see what happens. Subscribe, add this video to your favorites. Check me out on Instagram at Jake Mace Tai Chi. Um, hit my website up for more at jakemace.com and go to my brand new Facebook group for more. I think it's called Urban Gardening with Jake Mace. Check that out and uh, ask to be a member. And I'll see you guys back here for our next video.